STEM education provides an opportunity to engage and excite the kids, solve problems, critically think, and look at the world around them and be active investigators and active problem solvers. Mathematics and science have always been intertwined. Um, if you look at one area of science, you'll always find mathematical principles embedded into it. If you look at mathematics, you'll always find a scientific topic of interest. So it's an easy transition to try to get a fully incorporated curriculum with mathematics and science as one whole. Teachers in math have expertise in certain areas and teachers in science have expertise in different areas. To be able to take those two expertise areas and actually integrate them together allows us as students to get a better thorough understanding about what their education is. We all know that in the STEM world, you incorporate all areas and all aspects of learning to create a thorough understanding about what the topic is. There's a lot of creativity and excitement and fun that I was able to work with my colleagues in creating the STEM integrated curriculum because not only are the students and the teachers going to be able to see the excitement of the scientific investigations, but they're going to be able to see how the math is used to help support evidence and claims. 3D printing and additive manufacturing has allowed us the flexibility to be able to create almost any type of manipulative or any activity we want. So all those things that you thought there was probably a better way to do that, we could probably create it. We made a conscientious decision to make sure that all of the curriculum that we write is based in sound educational research. The middle school math and science curriculum has a base in the research on the issue and of transfer of knowledge phenomenon in which we see how kids are very reluctant or cannot transfer from day to day, uh, course to course, year to year, and then from the school to the workplace. And so we have made a, an effort to make sure that the activities, the initial learning experience is important, that it's a contextual, that the students can um, take learning experiences um, from what they've already learned and transfer it into an applicable setting, and then from what they're learning into perhaps a future culminating project at the end of the curriculum. As a science teacher, I've had the opportunity to co-teach with other subject area experts. So with specifically math and science, when you co-teach, you're allowed to actually bounce off ideas, but you're also able to tie into the expertise of the other person. So you don't have to be the only one there to providing all the instruction for the student. You can use your skill set and use their skill set and intertwine them and create a learning experience that most kids will never have the opportunity to experience. This middle school math and science integrated curriculum allows teachers to either co-teach together or to teach within their own classroom but reinforce both math and science skills. It's truly important to integrate math and science together because historically we've taught these content areas separately and students see them separate. They, they see, oh, math is just math and science is just science, but when they get to the real world, that's when they actually have to use all the skills together at once. And unless we give that opportunity to students, they don't ever see it. And we really need to make a conscientious effort as uh, educators to make sure we're giving these opportunities to students so that they become team players, they can integrate and apply their content area skills in different areas so that they are able to look at problems of the future and be able to quickly adapt and help solve them. If we look at the statistics, we have seen that STEM careers are not being filled and we actually are, are looking for more people to fulfill those jobs, especially in the ever-changing and innovative world that we live in. So when we can provide students with engaging curriculum that is problem-based, that mirrors uh, issues that they might face in the real world, then we're better able to get them ready for those jobs and careers and once they become more familiar that those careers are actually out there they can be the future that helps fill those job openings. Each component of the middle school math science integrated curriculum has a mathematics standards based component and a science standards based component. The middle school math and science curriculum covers a vast area of science and math concepts. They cover life sciences and proportionality, um, statistics and earth systems, physics, uh, chromatography, photosynthesis. Uh, there's so many different aspects that there's going to be something in the curriculum that each teacher will be able to find that will fit with their standards that they need to teach. At some point in time, you probably had a lesson or activity that didn't quite go as well as you thought. 
and you probably also felt like there's probably a better way to do this. Well, that's where we come in. We have the ability to create those innovative, new, exciting lessons that bridge the cross-curricular concepts that students have trouble with, that they create misconceptions with. And we're able to try to flush out what those misconceptions are and try to create a cohesive network within the student learning to allow them to have a future that no longer has those misconceptions, that allows them to further expand above and beyond what they've learned in the past. Teachers inherently want to learn, they want to do what's best for their students, and they, they want to see what's out there that's new and innovative. After the lessons are reviewed, we ask teachers to pilot the lessons, and oftentimes we're able to go and observe those teachers and the students engage in the lesson, and it's really exciting to be able to see not only that the students are engaged and are excited about it, but the teachers have that excitement level that they're, they're walking around and playing with the, the kits and the lessons as well, and they get to have that engagement level has been increased, and it's really awesome to see. Science and mathematics are not static subjects. They're dynamic. They change all the time. Sometimes we get caught in this idea that it's exactly the way it's always been, and that's not necessarily the case. New mathematics are being developed, new scientific topics are being developed. Their future is all about how well can they learn. And we try to make activities that get them to be better learners. Because no matter what, they may forget what you specifically said in your classroom, but they won't forget how to learn.